Hey everybody, if you want to see a lock, uh, <laughs> retwist and talk with me, please stay tuned. All right, y'all. So this is a retwist and talk with me. Don't mind me. Got my hair in a ponytail. As you guys can see, this is freshly washed hair. And I started twisting in the back already. And I, I'm going to come with y'all just to talk. And I'm going to twist as I'm talking. And I am using this. Don't come for me. Don't anybody come for me. You know why I say this? Because this is another product. Okay? Which means... I'm adding more products to my collection. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. I'm not becoming a product junkie, y'all. I just wanted to try it. That's all. Okay. Don't, don't, don't come for me. Okay. Please. Don't come for me. And yes, of course, I don't, I don't have no makeup. This is, I'm retwisting my hair. All right. So we're not about to have no makeup on. Like, bruh, I just washed my hair. And we about to talk. We about to talk about a lot of things. My camera get focused. And um Oh, okay. And um yeah, so this is what my hair is looking like. I got my hair up in a ponytail real quick. And um I'm just gonna do a twist and talk with y'all. And I'm gonna look in my mirror at what I'm doing because I like to have my parts you know a little looking you know like something so i gotta make sure yes i'm using one of my palettes as the other mirror don't come for me with that either all right so anyway what i say about this the murray's lock jet lock murray's gel lock look um yeah okay the way it feels i kind of don't like that and i'm kind of upset because the way it feels and it feels like it's going to leave some type of buildup. So I'm barely using any. So um, after this dries, I'm definitely going to put some oil in my on my scalp, like right like after it dries. So it could like, you know, I don't know, but it feels like sticky. So I don't know how I feel about that. But yeah, so we shall see about this. I just put up a video talking about, um, and I'm looking at my mirror over here too, talking about, um, I mean, I want to get close, up close and personal, talking about, um, you know, uh, ooh, what's that? Hold on, I ain't got no flakes. Hold on. That, y'all, that like a little flake. Hold on. Oh, there ain't no flick. Okay. I was like, bruh, like, I done washed my hair, like, mad times. I done clarified it and everything. Yes, I used VO5 today. I clarified my hair. Um, I think it's been about three weeks since I last twisted my hair. Don't go by the video when it was published because y'all guys know how I, I do be late with my videos. So, um, yeah. So, today is the day. Today is the 17th. So, just to get myself a marker. Um, you know, so, but yeah, I just don't like the way this feels. So yeah, so um, I will be giving a review soon, probably after a week so I can see what it's doing. And then I will come to y'all after a week. I'm sorry, but my neighbors are loud. If y'all hear them, um, there's a group home that's next to me. Um, uh, you know, I don't have time. Okay. But yeah, so um yeah, so that's basically about that. So if you hear anything, that's what it is. So yeah, so at any rate, like they out talking me out here. I don't know if y'all could hear them, but I could hear them. I should close my window. But at any rate, so basically, um don't you hate when you be using your comb and then you be losing it? So I had a, a blue comb like this, right, with the right, the tail, right? So I'm like, I'm doing my hair and I'm like, where is it? Like, what did I do with the comb? So I don't even know. So I had to pull this one out. I'm like, bruh. So watch, I'm going to find it after I'm done twisting my hair. It's like, how you losing the comb and you just had it? That always happens to me. Like, it always happens to me. But yeah, so... 
that's basically about that i ain't really talking about nothing y'all like the liked the last i about to say liked it that is not english okay um y'all liked the last twist and talk so i will be doing more of these so i will do this you know god's willing every chance i get okay y'all can't see the back but you know y'all get the gist of what i'm doing and this is murray's job i got this from dollar general I guess. I don't know. I really don't know y'all about this. I tried to look at some reviews prior to, but it wasn't that many reviews. And it was a lot of loose naturals that was using this. I didn't even, you know, look at this product when I was a loose natural. So, <laughs> I mean, I, you would think because I was a product junkie, but um, at any rate. So, y'all know I be on TikTok all the time. So, um my videos like this i don't be putting out like that so i need to you know stop that and the video i just put out i've been recorded that probably like about a couple weeks ago and i'm just now putting it out because i had to you know put it in another program so i could add like the pictures and stuff so um yeah that's about it about that but yeah so um and don't mind me when me pulling apart my locks because they were getting married to each other, so I don't have time for that. Married meaning they be trying to intertwine with each other. So hold on, y'all. They be trying to intertwine with each other. I gotta look at the um. Hold on, y'all. Gotta make sure. Okay. Okay. All right, sorry y'all, but I had to make sure. But um yeah, so at any rate, so how are y'all doing with this um with the opening of everything? Like everything is opening. Um you know, uh well, Jersey ain't about to open up no nail shop or no um beauty shop, so but don't mind <laughs> don't don't um matter to me cuz I do my own hair, I do my own nails been doing my own hair since i don't know the last time i've been to a hairstylist was <laughs> when i used to get relaxers when i used to get the doobie wraps and that was like mad long ago and i became natural um in 2012 so that was the last time like probably like the last time i've been to a hairstylist well i did get kinky twists um after my big chop so um so so i would say 2013 or 14 something like that so yeah so and don't matter to me um i think they're opening up stuff too fast just me that's just my opinion don't come and knock me down tomorrow so oh mark you don't want stuff to open no it's just that we still got to be safe and even though you know they're opening stuff People need to still practice social distancing because let me tell you, I don't even like when people be breathing on my back anyway when I'm waiting on lines, like being right there, like, boo, back up. I don't know you, so you need to back up because you're not about to be on my back. I don't know if you're about to cough because I used to be like that anyway before this, this Rona stuff. Pe people cough, I'll be looking and they don't cover their mouth. I'm like, bruh, like, are you going to cover your mouth? You know, like, yeah, so even before that, like, even before the, um the the um the the rona stuff i was on you know not on edge but i was like bruh like cover your mouth you know like and it's like like i said before like people it's just like stuff is new to people like washing hands is new like no brother sis like that should have been in there you should have been clean already like you know like nails clean everything like my nails you know, they short right now, but, you know, they, they, they clean. They, they ain't, um, dirty or yellow. You see what I'm saying? Like, don't nobody got time for that. Like, bruh, like, that's, that's, that's disgusting. Like, people, you know, you gotta be clean all the way around. Don't be half A assessing it. Cause, you know, people be trying to act like they clean, but you look at them fingernails, like, what you doing? like baby boo like <laughs> like baby boo like what you doing like bruh like get it together like 702 like <laughs> like you know walking around with uh 
with uh with 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 yellow nails i'm sorry you gotta you gotta come to this topic because that's even a part about especially being like a, a woman you know um you know you gotta be you gotta be well kempt you gotta be you know looking like you're clean you know what i'm saying like come on you gotta present yourself as such you know and that's what that's what anybody males too like you might want to see that dirt line you better um get a nail brush or something you know i ain't trying to say you gotta buy a nail nail kit or nothing but you better go up under there get you a toothpick or do what you gotta do because you know like that's that's mad germs and that makes you look dirty like i don't i don't understand like people think that's clean like no that's not clean that's just absolutely dirty absolutely unnecessary okay like you should be clean all the way around and that's called laziness because but uh, no my nails be clean and <laughs> my nails be clean all the time mm -mm, ain't gonna catch me slipping with no yellowage <laughs> yellow so i said yellowage with no uh with no uh yellow uh nails <laughs> that's raggedy right there but anyway so i just want to say basically um you know i'm doing well i'm still working i'm a central worker you guys know i do um work I, you know with, with mentally disabled clients you know so um still have to be out there so i do take the safety precautions i do wash my hands every time i enter the building every time i enter my house every time i don't walk through the house with my shoes that i have from work i you know put on my house clothes every time i come in the house you know and i take my shower i make sure i wash my hands you know take my shower for the night and then i should be good whatever the case is i have a lot of alcohol um you know hand sanitizer there aren't any um um, I haven't been able to get any Lysol. Lysol has been sold out for months um, in my area. But, um, you know, um, I've been able to have alcohol, have peroxide and things of that sort. Um, and able to have the essentials that I'm supposed to have. Um, you know, and I pray that this thing will blow over um, in a nice, safely manner. Um, a lot of people have passed on because of this. And, um, so this is just take it as a, um, you know, a life lesson from now on, you know, so we need to be prepared because this isn't probably, this is probably not the last time something like this is not going to happen. And it may be worse not to think negatively, but you just never know. So to not be in panic mode and stuff like that, and, you know, um, um, buying up all the toilet tissue, um let's become um people that um you know um will buy stuff and put it to the side for a rainy day okay um i've been thinking really highly about becoming a couponer because they was basically set when they had their stuff they had a little mini store and they um you know so um you know and if I did and if people needed some, I would have, you know, donated and stuff like that. But um, I ain't had it. So it's like, you know, so you got to be prepared. Um, you just never know. Um, and so I'm going to take that into consideration because it could be worse. Um, they're having shortages of certain food as well. They're saying something about chicken and stuff like that. So, you know, we got to take this stuff into consideration. And, um, you know, this make you rethink uh, how you eat and what you eat and stuff like that. So it's always good to, um, you know, try other foods, try other recipes and stuff like that. Just in case, you know, if you are a meat eater like I am or whatever the case is. And I'm talking to myself too, you know, try different recipes without meat and stuff like that to see you know, what you would like, you know, and, you know, take that to consideration just in case, you know, um, you know, um, just in case, you know, that happens, you know, that it is a real, real big shortage and you have to, um, result to, you know, just vegetables or 
things that does not have any meat with it. You know what I mean? So it's like it's a lot that's going on. Um, and a lot of people have panicked. A lot of people have been under, you know, anxiety and stuff like that because of the deaths and the cases that is all around um, here in the United States and all over the world. So, um, you know, it's always good to be safe, you know, be safe anyway, not just because of what's going on here um, and things of that sort. But we just have to be safe all the way around. And, you know, um, you know, and for me, I will be praying, you know, I always been praying for my friends and family and to those that are the essential workers that's really on the front line, front line. And to those out there also that, you know, anybody that's an essential worker, you know, so, um, you know, um, it takes a lot to um, try not to break down or because of certain things you see and things of that sort whatever the case is it, it gets heartbreaking to be watching the news and hearing the cases get higher and higher and stuff like that and nobody knows anything better than the other person everybody is trying to figure out what this thing is and stuff like that so whatever anybody has an opinion of you know the rona and stuff like that that's what it is that's what the opinion is you know but I don't want to keep talking about that. But, you know, just um, continue to be safe, wash your hands and things of that store. When this thing is totally over, please do not result in not washing your hands, not washing your fingernails, not washing your whole body. OK, like this should have been implanted in your head when you were younger. I don't understand why people have to tell somebody simply to wash their hands and not for just one millisecond. Not just, oh, we done. You, you didn't even wash nothing. You might as well not have washed your, or attempt to wash your hands. Because people, people do do that. Okay, people be like, put the soap on. Oh, I'm done. You didn't wash your hands, boo. Like, come on. Take the 20 seconds of your time and wash your hands. I don't care if you are late to work. I don't care if you have, have uh, an engagement to go to. You should have thought about that before, whatever, whatever. Don't nobody got time for that. Like, you need to wash your hands. This is your safety, boo. You know, and especially if you are, you know, have a family and you're out there and stuff like that. You and you or you got somebody older that you live with. You you don't want you don't want to run that risk. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, people people be like selfish. You see what I'm saying? Like, like, come on now. Like, really? Like, you know, people be so nasty. The fact that they'll wipe their nose and wipe their hand onto the, you know what I'm saying? And y'all, if y'all are wearing gloves, okay, do not wear your gloves all day, okay? Not all day, okay? Change your gloves, okay? Please, go buy you a pack of gloves, keep it in your car, you know, keep some in your, you know, wherever you are, whatever the case is, in your home, in your car, whatever the case is, and change your gloves frequently. Don't change, don't wear your gloves all day, because the gloves carry a lot of germs too. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people don't, a lot of people don't know that. They think just because they got the gloves on, they doing something. I mean, in a way you are, but in a way you not. You see what I'm saying? It's like, bruh, like I saw this lady um at 7-Eleven one day and she had the glove on. She put her hand all in her face. I was like, sis, like, you know, that was like 1 million germs that you just put on your face. I guess she didn't care. So, I mean, whatever, you know, if it's meant for you to get it, it's meant for you to get it. But I'm like, you know, some people just, you know, I'll just be wondering about some people. I mean, you can't, you can't dictate stuff to everybody. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you know, you can't help everybody. You know what I mean? So, but at the end of the day, you know, I try not to worry, try not to, you know, have that anxiety and stuff like that, you know, and I'm, I, I, I am as safe as I can be, you know, praying and things of that sort. You know what I mean? So that's just basically it about that. Um, what else I want to talk about? So, yes, I don't want to talk about all all that all the time because i'm about to be almost done um but i appreciate y'all um here with me as i'm twisting my hair this might be a premiere but yes yeah, so, <laughs> yeah i'm being silly but yeah so um yeah i've been doing tiktoks y'all okay um lovey has made it to tiktok okay i didn't show it on youtube but if you want to see it on tiktok follow me at charmaine 833 okay 
and it's on there okay charmaine without the e please do not do that okay it's c-h-a-r-m-a-i-n no e okay i don't know why people like to stick the e at the end okay but anyway um you know that's one of my pet peeves i i, ugh, I hate that i was like bah! like you could at least ask me and just automatically and when i see it i just feel like oh my god i just cringe like that stuff get on my nerves like i'm sorry but that that's one of my pet peeves and i just be like bro like <laughs> that's all right i had to make more room on my um I did buy another SD card at Walgreens. Um, I think it's 64 gigabytes. I totally forgot about that. I just thought about it just now while I was making room on my camera. So I will be using that very soon. I'll probably use that tonight when I do my, um, when I, um, yes, I am doing my makeup and doing TikTok dances tonight. And I'm going to do my, the ab challenge because I need to get my um, stomach to be flat. I need to, you know, um, take better care and drink more water and do what I'm supposed to do because, you know, sometimes you can fall by the wayside and um, not keep up with your water intake and stuff like that. So I haven't been doing a good job with that. I've been trying to, but it hasn't been to the best of my ability. So I need to do better with that. So, yeah. So that's just basic Callie about that. And I will. So I'm going to start today. So tonight when I go in my basement, I'm going to do that because Lord, because this don't make no sense. So y'all, this is um, Murray's. I don't know about this Murray's. I don't know. Let's hope it don't flake on me, y'all. Because I'm going to be entirely, so, I'm going to be so mad. Like, bruh, like why you flake on me? Like, so, but at any rate, um... Yeah, so, um, so, yeah, so, basically, um, that's all I got to say. Oh, I got some more, um, for my man series coming up. I watched one, something happened in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, back in 2000, March of 2011, and stuff like that. So, I'm about to do that one. I wrote my notes down, and I'm probably going to write them clearer on my iPad so I could have a better, um, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that probably before I film. And then, um, but the first video I'm going to do, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do my regular YouTube videos first. And then I'm going to do my TikTok dances after because I don't want to be out of breath on camera. <laughs> I'll do my workout after, after I'm done. I'm only probably going to do a, probably like a few YouTube videos. I'm um, probably going to do another lock talk video. I'm trying to do more lock talk videos with y'all and more lock videos. Um, because, um... Yeah, that's what I'm basically trying to do. So, yeah. So, also, I just want to talk about, um, you know, uh, about um, just basically being, like, who I am and how I was brought up and stuff like that. And just happy that I was blessed with the parents that I was blessed with, that God has blessed me with. Because he could have, you know, gave me to somebody else, but um, I'm glad these were the parents that, you know, I was chosen to be with um, because they have taught me a lot. They have pushed me to do a lot and to be the young lady that I am today. And, um, you know, a lot of people can't figure out how I am or some people said that I was a, a mysterious person or Hey, you see what I'm saying? That's just what it is. You know, we all fall short. We all, you know, um, don't do the right things, but we all do come back around to where we came from. You see what I'm saying? We all come back around and realize what we did is not what we were supposed to do. You know what I mean? So if you did a mistake, we all make mistakes. We're human. So, you know, you don't make that mistake again, or you try not to make that mistake again, you know? Um, you had toxic people in your life, you got rid of them. So you just know not to <laughs> indulge in any more toxic people again. You see what I'm saying? So that's just what it is, you know? And, you know, some people probably think I'm, I'm mean and stuff like that. Hey, this, this is, that's just what it is. <laughs> you know, what can I do? You know, but I'm just glad that, you know, I was able to, you know, um, especially like with my dad, you know, you guys know that he passed on and, um, I'm just happy that he, God was able to bless me with him and have him with me for the time that he was with me and to the time that he took his last breath, which I saw him, which I was, 
here, you know, you know, why he took his last breath. Um, <laughs> something that I don't want to talk about, but you know, that's just what it is. But, you know, but I'm just happy that I'm able to be here, you know, and have the memories that I have, especially, you know, also with my siblings that passed. So, you know, sad times, sad times. Oh, I was talking and the thing done clicked off. Um, but yeah, so stop, gotta use oh. Okay, I gotta let's go use the bobby pin. I'm I probably gotta use the bobby pin because I had another clip, but I'm gonna use the bobby pin here and I'm gonna use the um clip in the um yeah. I gotta buy more clips. This is sad. I thought I found a couple more clips. But I, I think I did because the last time I had to use more than this clip here. But, um, yeah, so that's basically it about that, y'all. I marched to the beat of my own drum, as I always do, always will, always will be, okay? Um, I tell myself what to do. I tell myself where to go, how to see, how to look, how to talk, and whatever the case is. <laughs> I'll be <laughs> D-A-M-N. And somebody has to tell me, oh, you got to do this. You got to talk to Sally. You got to say this. No, sir, no, ma'am. No, sir, no, ma'am. <laughs> no, sir, no, ma'am. Last time I checked, my father was deceased and my mom is still here. Okay. Okay. Who are you to say that to me? No. Get out of my face. Okay. Have several seats. Several. Several seats. You know, people just do dumb stuff, say dumb stuff. But yeah, so that's basically about that. But I'm done, y'all. I ain't got nothing else to say. We come to the end of the road. Oh, we come to the end of the road. Still I can't let go It's a natural to me <laughs> I belong to you Alright, so yeah, y'all know I'll be playing But yeah, so I'm gonna put the clip right here And I'm about to put my makeup on y'all and do some regular videos. Oh, it's a new series that came out. I want to tell y'all called Prison Wise. I think the Prison Wise been out, but the season had came out, right? So, um, so I'm about to review that. It's two two episodes, so they got it on YouTube. So I'm about to watch it. And so, and then I know bed. I know um my bev boo probably like finally, but. Something reminded me. I was watching um, one of the For My Man series on YouTube, and um, Nancy Drew popped up. And I know um, Bev, <laughs> um, one of um, uh, my followers on here. She always, I remember, she always asked me, "So you gonna do? Um, you gonna do Nancy Drew review?" And she's like, "What happened to Nancy Drew review?" What happened? And um, she stopped asking me. So I guess she figured like, "Oh, she ain't allowed to do it." Um, I think I'm about to do it again, okay? Um, it's the CW. I gotta go on my um, I gotta go on my computer. Um, I think they said I don't know if they on season two, but um, I'm gonna do it, okay? I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna probably try to watch it tonight, and then I'm probably gonna record again tomorrow. So um, I'm gonna try to watch two of them, two um episodes, and record two. And then I just noticed, like, my, my series, um, a lot of people do be interested in what I think about it. Um, especially, like, when I was doing the real love, the, not loving hip-hop, the um, growing up hip-hop, um, people was watching it. And then, like, my mood review. So, I'm going to go back to doing this stuff, whatever the case is. i just been slacking, and I need to stop slacking. So, um, that's just basically about that. But, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, Bev, Boo, if you're watching... 
I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it because it reminded me. I was looking at it was like a commercial on YouTube before I was watching it for a man series, and I was like, oh, I was like, it's still come on. It must be the second season. So um, we're not gonna we're not gonna finish the first season. We just gonna we're just gonna go into the second season. I'm pretty sure it just fall right in. I don't think it's a continuation. I don't think. Um, I hope it isn't. So um, we just we just gonna. We're just going to go with the flow, y'all. Okay, we're just going to go with the flow. So to those of you that watch Nancy Drew or want to watch Nancy Drew, I'm going to be getting back into it. So I think that is season two. But I definitely will look to see so I can um, get back into it. So, yeah, so sorry about that. I know she was like, this girl ain't going to do I ain't asking her no more. I don't blame you because I don't ask me either. <laughs> like she ain't gonna do it. She just doing TikTok, same stuff. TikToks and and it has it had that's been exercise, okay? That's been exercise. The TikTok's been exercise, but I just have to implement like doing more exercise with my like my stomach, and I have to be drinking more water, and I have to like eat you know better. <laughs> um, but I've been eating like more greens and stuff like that, and more um fruits and stuff like that. So I had like um I had a, I had some fruit um yesterday and the day before yesterday. So yeah, so I'm pretty good with that. Um, I'm not trying I'm not trying to eat all that junk food and stuff like that. You know, I'm not trying to walk around here look like a teletype. I'm sorry. I mean, you know, <laughs> that's just what it is. I, that's that's me. I don't want to look like that. Okay, that's me. Okay. You know, everybody got their own way of what they want to look like. I, I want the flat stomach because I had that back in high school. I want that back again. Okay. Okay. Like, I think by like, I think freshman, um, I think by sophomore or junior year of college, like that flat stomach went down the drain. It was like, boop. So I, I, I think around there and I was just like, I think, or when I got out of college, because I think it was just adding up or whatever. And I just never, you know, so, and I was looking back at old videos, like, bruh, I look like I was about to explode. Like, bruh, I'm just like, you know what, I don't got time for this. So I'm just like, I can't, because I could tell, like, in my face when I was going back to my old lock videos, I was like, mm -mm, no, 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 I don't want, I don't want my face to look like that. I don't want that. I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just not what I do. Like, my face but anyways let me stop but yeah that's just me that's just me that's just me that's just me okay i'm, I'm talking about me okay and um what else i've been doing um i have to do more self-care um and like you know not just about work and stuff like that this quarantine has um slowed me down a lot i realized i always i always got up to go somewhere i always got up to, i had to go like i always had to go like, oh i have to go here or i have to go there like it was always so this the quarantine kind of slowed me down and made me think about a lot of stuff so i not saying, you know, the way the Rona had happened, which was sad in a way, but, you know, it was kind of a blessing in disguise because it showed me that I needed to focus on a lot of things and stop procrastinating because I, I do that a lot. I'm very, very, very bad. I procrastinate so much. It's, it's, it's bad. Okay. It's like really bad. Like my, um, my time management sucks it's bad that's bad like my time management is like off the chain i'll be like i'll be like why your time management sucks like you know i'll be rushing to work like it's just like it's like this is not what it's supposed to be out here but at any rate so um so yeah i just try to you know what i'm saying like <laughs> you know what I mean so it's like it's not even words to say I just got to do it and I also bought me a basic as f um planner from um dollar general I don't got time for all that basic as f um planner I will be showing it after I polish my nails um and I'm not putting on no press-ons um my nails have gotten a little weak after that because of the glue and taking on my nails so you know when you have the have the press-ons, you know, um, and when you're peeling off, you know, the, the nail or taking off the nail when you soak it is basically, you know, especially when it comes off by itself, when it pop off, it's taking off another, it's taking off a layer of a nail. 
So I basically, you know, cleaned up my nails and stuff like that, you know, like did all that. And so they're slowly growing back. You know, they're short, but they're slowly growing back. I have to watch Love for Nails here on YouTube that I've been watching for years and see what she's doing now because she's been um, slowly coming back. So I've been watching. I've been following her for a minute. So I saved her to watch later so I could go back to or whatever the case is because that's the things that I be watching, you know. I like to watch stuff like that and also i just want to shout out my one of my good friends that i used to go to high school with uh, what's her name on youtube oh my goodness let me look on here hold on y'all because we about to get her we about to get her real quick okay Mhm. Mm because i did share on my community wall um so y'all could go to her it is called Oh, self-taught weight loss. Okay, so she's been on a weight loss journey and she's been doing really good and she lost a lot of weight and um, she's been doing really good and showing people how to count their calories, um, showing people how to, you know, what um, when she goes to um, Kroger's and her hauls and stuff like that, um, she shows a lot of things and she has a lot of helpful tips and she um, uploads um, very often. She's very consistent um, and um, I would definitely say definitely go check her out um and like i said she is a real good friend from high school um and um she had moved um down south while we was in high school so that was sad but um but we still was able to keep in touch with each other and um and even um now and stuff like that so i definitely um support her a lot because she's really doing a good job at what she's doing so i just want you guys to go check her out it's self-taught weight loss um if you can't um you know find it when you're typing it um definitely go to my community wall and you will find her um i definitely will link her video one of her videos down below so you can click on it so you guys could go to it um she's very awesome and um i definitely appreciate her for doing that and she she's awesome all the way around she she's a real good friend so yeah so and i can't believe you know she's on youtube like, okay boo. you know so I, I i i yeah so those are the people that i be watching i watch like you know people that do the weight loss um you know um you know game nights and stuff like that um you know one of my sis on here um pandy pandy's corner does um game nights um and um i also watch um a lot of people i could shout out a lot of people here um but um you know i follow a lot of people and i really do um appreciate all of them because they are very awesome you know so um you know that's that's what i'll be watching you know i i watch positive things like that because it's very interesting to me and that's what I want to feed into my soul okay I don't want to feed and BS to where I'm indulging and you know um you know um digesting uh what do you say darkness okay I don't want that okay I want my body to be you know fully um you know energetic and stuff like that I don't want BS going in my mouth just like I don't want BS food going in my mouth you know what I'm saying I don't want junk that's what it is junk okay junk i don't want that going into my soul so i definitely will press the i i, I definitely buy <laughs> kick kick rocks with no shoes on okay i don't want to see that <laughs> i don't want to see that because it's not feeding me anything it's not doing anything for me it's not doing anything for me sorry if y'all heard that you just say it's not doing anything for me okay but i want to start doing like a, a shout out like videos or something like that like every um, I've seen people been doing this and I think I should start doing this so people can see like who I watch and, and it's a lot of y'all so I'm probably I think once a week I'm going to shout out people um, um, I think that's what I'm going to do okay don't hold me to it but I'm thinking about it because um, a lot of people need more I think needs more recognition um, and plus I follow them like you know because they're awesome okay like bruh um also um i was gonna say something else i forgot <laughs> sorry charges of hand not my heart but um but it's a lot of ladies that i follow um i think i'll probably do two in one video i'm gonna try to do that um probably starting next month or the end of this month and then going into next month um the other thing i need to start doing more is engaging more in the comments i do watch a lot of y'all videos but I hope I didn't erase anything because my thing, my um, my SD card is over there. So I hope I didn't erase anything. If I did, if I erased the get ready with me, maybe I should do one um now a get ready with me while I film um because uh I think I deleted something. 
let me double check but anyway um but yeah y'all so but like i said i will try to do that i wanted to do something else that i was thinking about but yeah so definitely go check out um you know um my friend you know she's a real life friend okay um she's real life so yeah so definitely go check her out um but um what else i want to say yeah so this is awesome so i'm going to do that two-week challenge the clothing i'm definitely doing it this time y'all i said that last time in one of my videos i think i don't know if i even put it up if i didn't good y'all didn't hear it but oh uh, i think i did i don't know but anyway um i'll be talking so much i don't even know but this time i'm gonna do it so yeah because and i'm gonna do better with the water i'm gonna do i even have a water app on my phone you know that's still don't be doing it but i need to really get into it okay so you guys i'm going to do the clothing two week ab challenge and i'm going to continue to do it but i'm going to do two week and i'm going to come back to you guys in two weeks i think i'm gonna do a video i'm going to upload it and i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to be doing all right i think i'm gonna do that tomorrow and then i'm going to come back um, in two weeks and show y'all the before and after I already did my measurements already I just have to take pictures first and then so I can show y'all pictures of the before and the after I have seen so many amazing results with people doing this challenge is ridiculous everybody's body is different everybody's body type is different so you're not going to get the same outlook because everybody's um have different weight so you know two weeks may not make your stomach flat two weeks just might make it you know three to four inches flatter but not flat to where you want it if you get what i'm saying you know what i mean so it depends on the body type how much body fat you have and stuff like that or whatever the case is and of course what you're eating you know what you're putting into your body or what you're doing you know because um you just got to make sure that you are you know um playing it all the way around the board it's not just exercising solely exercising you have to do the intaking internally of you know of what you're doing stop all the snacks and all that stuff you know what i mean so if you're really serious about getting that summer body summer is basically here but um see may june um you know basically we're still under this quarantine kind of really um is is limited is not you know we're not out out yet it's just like creeping so you know um we still have time so maybe this could be for your next summer body or but if you do this clothing thing um you gonna get the results that you want fast because every video i've seen the results has been awesome i'm just like bruh i don't watch about like 20 of them videos and i was like so that's what i'll be watching that's what i'll be watching okay i don't watch junk so <laughs> but at any rate um um but yeah so that's just basically about that but yeah so i'm done i'm out of here y'all i'll talk to you guys later and um i'll be back with for my man series nancy drew bev um probably some shout out videos some more lock talk videos um prison wives if y'all um let me know if y'all watch prison wives it's on lifetime okay it's on the second episode okay we about to talk about this because don't nobody got time for somebody to be locked up for 75 years and you're gonna be married to them to each his own to each his own if you want more of my opinion about that stay tuned <laughs> because bruh i was like I, I watched some of it i was like 75 years you eligible for parole when? Uh, no, negative. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I mean, what you, what you want me to do? Wait, a minute, let me get out of here, you guys. All right. Any questions? Comments? 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 Comments?